And on behalf of the City of Los Angeles, I'm very proud to stand here and give a huge congratulations to the class of 2010. who is doing a tremendous job, Christina Rico and her leadership at Hollenbeck Middle School. I also want to acknowledge this eighth grade team, your eighth grade sponsor, for her work today. Let's give them both a big round of applause. I also want to acknowledge all the hardworking teachers at Hollenbeck Middle School and all the hardworking teachers day in and day out, watch out for our young ones in our community. You know, I think that one of the most noblest and honorable professions one can have is that of a teacher. And as a teacher, you teach our young people how to read, how to do their math, how to become young, caring adults in our community. So let's give our teachers a big round of applause. celebrate with you. The community is here. The school is here. And we want to remind you that our young students who are graduating today will need of you in high school and in college, even if they call you college for more to send more money, but they will need of you. And we hope that we can continue this trajectory of having our young people from all heights achieve that success in college. So thank you to our parents. Los padres of Peter DC, Felicidades a ustedes también. Sabemos muy bien que hoy también ustedes se graduan. Porque sin ustedes, estos estudiantes no podrían estar aquí esta noche celebrando en este éxito. Entonces la comunidad está con ustedes, la escuela está con ustedes esta noche. A decirles también a ustedes, los padres, felicidades. The Untouchables. I'm here to tell you that you have a blank canvas before you. You have a canvas where you could draw any painting you would like to see. You have before you a blank piece of paper where you could write your own history. You have before you an additional time to make up for those things you wish you would have done, to make up for those things you wish you could have learned. Because this is that special time in our lives where it has a lot to say with the direction we go. See, I attended Hollenbeck Middle School for my eighth grade. which direction I would go. But I remember I sought out that help from the adults who wanted to support me. I sought out that help from the organizations that were there to provide me with support. And someone reminded me at that time, I think it was a college counselor, or counselor at Hollenbeck Middle School, who told me, Jose, you can go to college one day if you so wish. But remember, the colleges start looking at your grades in the ninth grade. So you have before you what you want to do, what you choose to do. And dream and think about the possibilities. Envision yourself in that which you want to be. It was only a couple of years ago that this country elected its first African American president. And whoever would have thought that our country would look beyond race and income level to elect our first African American possible. President, think of the possibilities. All is possible. So I tell you, keep your heads up high. Here in Bo Heights, we have a long history of tradition and pride that despite all obstacles, we know we can achieve. And if you look around this room today, the community is here, your parents are here, your teachers are here, the faculty of uh, Hollenbach Middle School is here to tell you and support you 
that we're with you all the way. Congratulations, make us proud.